Hi everyone, I'm Rosie. I'm from Calm, the campaign against living miserably. Who is Calm? Calm is a suicide prevention charity and we're leading the movement against suicide. And why are we here? We're here today because we have a year long partnership with Bayer. So you'll be seeing us cropping up at different um, events in different magazines that you might be reading. And we're here to make sure that you know how to look after your own mental health and the mental health of your colleagues. So the problem, the problem is that around 6,500 people die by suicide every year. That equates to 125 per week and 75% of those suicides are male. That means that suicide is the single biggest killer of men under 45 in the UK. What we're doing at Calm is truly life-saving work. We run a free helpline and web chat from 5 p.m. to midnight, seven days a week, and that's for anyone who needs to talk about life's problems to those who are truly at the point of crisis. Our helpline and web chat is different to any other helpline and web chat that exists in a number of ways. So we're anonymous, confidential, and non-judgmental. We don't use volunteers on our, um, on our helpline and web chat. We use highly trained paid staff. We offer non-clinical advice and we're interventionalist. That means that if someone is truly at the point of crisis and is about to take their own life, we can intervene to make sure that that doesn't happen. We're solution focused. So unfortunately, people who are experiencing suicidal ideation often see suicide as a solution to their problems. And what we do at Calm is we offer them alternative solutions um, that they can explore themselves. So we're solution focused and we're open to everyone. So initially we were just for young men. And then as our service provision has grown and demand for our service has grown, we're now for women and non-binary folks as well. In 2019, we answered 1, 120,000 calls and web chats and we prevented 588 suicides. That is the number that we get from people who we directly stopped them taking their own life. That doesn't include the number of people that we, um, that we helped, you know, we helped them with their problems so that they felt like suicide wasn't the only answer for them anymore. There are lots of different risk factors for when you're in the workplace um, that are good to be aware of um, so that you can look after your own mental health and you can be aware of the mental health of your colleagues. So if you're in a high pressure job working in isolation and a high proportion of men are in the industry, that industry then runs a high risk of suicide within the industry. So um, I'm sure many of you will relate to these um, three these three topics so it's important to just be aware that suicide isn't something that happens somewhere else but it can happen in your own industry as well. Um, at Calm we're not just um, a helpline and web chat we also do lots of campaigning we are the campaign against living miserably. Some of our campaigns are really shocking so we ran um, project 84 to uh, have real shock value um, and then we put 84 statues of men up on top of the ICV2 building um, and that was to bring awareness to the topic of suicide, get people talking, you know, shock people into action. Um, and this resulted in the first Minister for Suicide being appointed. So it was a really successful campaign. We were really pleased with how that went. And then we have a softer kind of campaign as well which is called the best man project and uh, what the best man project was was it was encouraging men to talk about their best friends in a way that usually they would only talk about them on their wedding day if they were their best man um, but talk about their friends in a way that you know showed them that there is something to live for it encourages men to open up about their feelings and we got some prominent um, men and some of our supporters together to talk about their best friends and what they mean to them. We also have collective action. So Calm Collectives are for everyone. They're for you no matter what your background, age or ability. It's all about getting together, doing what you love and feeling better for it. So a Calm Collective can be cycling, running, football or art. We find that often when you sit someone down face to face, it can be quite difficult to get them to talk about their mental health and their feelings. But if you do something side by side with someone, then, um, 
then you you often can have that conversation about your mental health more openly and easier um, so if you're interested in getting involved in a calm collective they're on facebook um, or you can get in touch with us on our website um, i really do encourage you to get involved um, now i wanted to talk to you a little bit about if you were worried about somebody um, at work or a friend um, what you could do to help them uh, at the moment. So we ran a campaign um, with Dave called Alan, and this is Alan, and Alan stands for Ask, Listen, Action Network. Um, so if you start off with asking how they're feeling, um, rather than asking them a closed question like, are you okay? Um, if, if you just ask an open question like how are you feeling and it shows that you're not there to judge and it gives them um, a bit of a broader space for them to talk about their, their actual feelings. It goes a bit deeper than just are you okay. Um, listen, so it might sound obvious, but just let them speak. You don't have to solve their problems. Sometimes people just need to get things off their chest. Um, and and then you can what you can do is take some action so the action that you could take is just setting some sort of simple goals with them so letting them know that help is out there if they need it um and taking and taking steps to set goals for them to um to to seek out that help or it could be just arranging the next time you're going to speak so that they feel like they have something to live for, that there's something coming up in the future. I know at the moment it's difficult to, to say when you're next going to meet up, but you can always say, let's have a phone call again in three days time. Um, so taking some action and then network is building up a network of support together. So thinking about with that person, who else they could reach out to in their life um, for support. Um, because it, it's a lot for you to carry on your shoulders yourself but if you encourage them to reach out to other family and friends then um, then that can be really really beneficial for both of you um, if you're struggling yourself I really really encourage you to reach out to calm um, calm is here uh, every single day of the year from 5 p.m. to midnight it's free it's confidential it's anonymous we are here for you if you're struggling or if, if, if you think that a friend is struggling and it's too much for you to, to take on at the moment, just telling them about Calm is, is a really good first step. Um, so that's, that's always there. That's the, probably the main thing I want you to take away from this talk. So some of our ambassadors have given some tips about their, their mental health, what they do to um, look after their mental health and what you can do. So. Um, so Ben Dave has said that he thinks that keeping moving and eating as well as you possibly can is a really great way to um, look after your mental health. And I think, I think that is really important. Having healthy habits is really, really important. Um, Cecilia naps is something that we, we don't take as lightly as it sounds. So it's don't be a dick to yourself. And that's so important that you're kind to yourself at the moment things are so difficult with everything that's going on the last thing you need is for yourself to be to be hard on yourself and um, so so she says don't be a dick to yourself and we really stand behind that um, James Golding who's one of the Connor brothers um, says that being creative is something that he finds really helpful but that doesn't have to mean painting or making music that can be something as simple as doing some Lego with children or cooking, something that just gets you out of your head a little bit um, and is, gets you a little bit more creative. It is really, really good for your mental health at the moment. And Sharifa J, Sharifa J says that um, having some me time, so keeping a diary or a journal, or this could be just going for a walk on your own, just having some you time to really disconnect, listen to a podcast, listen to some music can be really, really important. At Calm, we like to say there's the four C's and these are um, connect. So don't isolate yourself. Um, you know, when isolating yourself is not going to do you any good. Stay connected to friends and family at the moment if you can. Um, consistency. So having a routine that you 
feel that there's you know there's some there's purpose to every day with your routine is really important um control so remembering that there's only so much you can control at the moment there are so many things that are really out of our control so just focusing on the things that you can control is a really great place to start and then compassion and that's having compassion for yourself and others um, it's like Cecilia Knapp said, you know, not to be a dick to yourself and, and to others as well, just to be aware that we're all going through a really hard time right now and to be kind to yourself and kind to others is just so important. Um, if you're struggling, then Calm is here for you. So you can go to our website um, and you can get help yourself or you can find support for somebody else if you think that there's someone you're worried about. So I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about CALM during COVID and how we've been impacted by COVID. So we're going into about 10 months of lockdown restrictions now. And um, our life-saving services are needed more than ever. So since the beginning of lockdown, the CALM helpline has answered 84,954 calls and web chats and directly prevented 282 suicides. That's over 14,500 hours of talking to people and 767,260 chat messages exchanged. These are around topics such as isolation, anxiety, relationship concerns, health worries, financial stress and suicidal thoughts. But no matter who needs us or what they need us for, we will continue to be there for whoever needs us and we can't do it alone. So, um, every life saving call or, or chat costs just eight pounds. Um, so a, an eight pound donation to Calm can make such a huge difference. A seat on our helpline costs 66,000 um, pounds a year. And that doesn't mean that one person is paid 66,000 pounds a year. That's just that one seat is manned by about three people, two to three people throughout the year. Um, and that equates to 66,000 pounds a year. Um, but I think the, the, the main number to focus on is that a potentially life-saving call or chat costs us just eight pounds. Um, the last thing I just wanted to reiterate is that we are here for you. If you're struggling right now, or if you're, you know somebody who's struggling, please don't hesitate to call Calm, go to our web chat if you um, want a bit more privacy, if you're like living in a house share or something. Um, we're open every single day of the year. That includes over bank holidays, 5 p.m. to midnight. We're free, we're confidential and we're anonymous. And we're here for you if you need us. Um, thank you so much.